This is a 9TTK uh, with the new call sign you haven't heard on the uh, YouTube yet. So I'm wanting to show, uh, I'm running SO2R now with the uh, Yankee Clipper Contest Club SO2R box. And I swapped out the 7300 for a 101, uh, sorry, for an FTDX10. And I'm still running the 101. And uh, we're going to try some bandpass filters to get rid of the interference. So right now, uh, transmitting on 40 on the 10. That's what I get on 20 and then transmitting on 20 uh, with the 101 and uh, you can see the meter move there and it's uh, it's pretty noisy in the headphones uh, let's see if... so uh, that's what I'm trying to get rid of I'm gonna throw a 40 meter bandpass filter in uh, right now Okay, I've got the 40 meter bandpass filter in, and uh, let's see what it does. Transmitting on 20, it's completely gone. So that worked. Um, I don't imagine it's going to do anything over here. So, uh, oh. okay, let's throw the 20 meter in, see what it does. Okay, we've got the 20 meter bandpass filter in, uh, transmitting on 40. Yeah, it's still there. I'll have to watch the video see if that's any better or not, but as far as sound, it's it's really not getting into me too bad. I can probably go over here and listen to this. See, it doesn't have any issue, so. And then let's switch back over and just make sure we don't have any noise on 40. Turn that one down, this one up. So, in conclusion, I'd say uh, the 40 meter bandpass filter is uh, the one I really needed. Um, the 20 meter doesn't do a whole lot, so might experiment with some stubs or uh, do some more research on that. Thanks for watching, N9TTK.